All right, I uh, want to welcome Stacy McGee to our, did I say your last name correct, Stacy? You certainly did. To the show today. Thank you for being here, Stacy. My pleasure. So we're going to start with some rapid fire questions. Stacy, are you ready? Ready. All right, where were you two years ago? I was still in McMinnville. I've been here forever. <laughs> where will you be in three years? In McMinnville. <laughs> Red or blue? Blue. What annoys you? This. Pin clicking. And what time did you go to bed last night? 9.30. It was early. I'm bored. <laughs> Pretty fortunate and I'm bored. It's all right. Stacy, tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got into real estate. So I am, um, I'm a mom to two now adult girls, 21 and 19. And I chose real estate because of the influence of the realtor that we had. Um, definitely a different ball game these days than it was 14 years ago. Um, but it's been, been a journey. It's been a roller coaster ride and it just keeps going. Um, that's the thing about real estate is it doesn't get old. Every day, everything is always a new challenge. There's nothing redundant <laughs> about real estate. Yeah. So tell me what specific business activities are you doing right now, now that you're having to work from home? What, what has changed for you? Well, a lot of video conferencing, a lot of um, try, just trying to connect with friends and clients and um, virtually, and then just letting my, my sphere, my people, Anyone who's listening, um, let them know that real estate is essential. Um, it is a key part to our recovery and that um, we are, we were already pretty well established to do things virtually and with technology. So that hasn't changed. We just are using it more um, consistently now as our only means of getting documents to them and everything else. How's business going for you currently? What, uh, what do you have going on or uh, how busy do you feel like you are? I've been helped um, quite a bit by my colleagues, thank you, um, as I went through um, a hard time losing my mom. And so I do have a couple of transactions that are being handled and they are going well. Um, everyone stepped up and, you know, this hasn't slowed us down at all. Um, so tell me about how long have you been with Caldwell Banker? I've been with Coldwell Banker just over a year, and um, I came in February, February 1st, um, and I haven't regretted the move for a moment. Um, the culture within Coldwell Banker is exceptional. Um, just an awesome team of realtors and leadership. Um, it's unbelievable. Um, I know lots of people say that, but having been with a couple of other companies before, um, there's a mentality, a growth mentality, a leadership mentality, a just a culture that is really, really ingrained um, that Lucy, Lucinda has established, and everyone's taken up the ball, and she's surrounded, you know, the office is good energy, there's always positivity, so it's just it's a welcome place to come in. I'm blessed. Well, I got to give you some kudos too, uh, Stacy. Your, your attitude, your spirit to bring in more agents like you is exactly what we want to um, do. You are a, a, a vital part of that. And so thank you for, for being a part of the culture that you, you talk about. It, it's not just from the leadership. It's from agents like yourself. So thank you. So uh, what's going really well for you right now? I can easily stay in bed that's why i'm like i can have a nice shower because it'd be so easy for me to stay in bed and be like yeah i'm checking out the world's checking out i'm gonna check out um with it but i'm i just i'm not doing that like i said i'm i still have my goals and i still have that person that i want to be and so i'm just keep getting up and doing my thing i still feel accountable to you guys yeah. uh, because because of the relationships that we've built like i don't want to be the slacker <laughs> I want to show up on these Zoom calls and Zoom meetings and, you know, and actually turn my video on. So baseball hats, stocking caps, 
Um, it's going to start getting sunny, so a lot more baseball hats and stocking hats. <laughs> it's one of the things we got to do. <laughs> so my last question for you is, why Coldwell Banker? I wasn't in a position where I wanted to change brands. I felt like I had was with a very good, strong brand, and they are in there. And, but um, Coldwell Banker was easily equal to that other brand. And then when you bring in the leadership and the team that Lucinda has, hands down, like this is where I need to be. Um, I need people who grow. I need people who learn. I need people who motivate and have momentum. And um, But once I came over to Coldwell Banker and I got established in my, my space there and the people there, I haven't been back to my airport office because I, I really enjoy where I'm at. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, it's really about people. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank you, Stacy, so much for, uh, for being here. We really appreciate you, your value to our office, your energy, your, um, you're just an amazing uh, person, uh, along with being an awesome agent. Thank you for being here today with me. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Trevor. You're welcome. Retake here. Shut that off. I hit a button and all of a sudden my screen went. Ah! Oh my god. Or my desk moved up. Sorry about that. Okay, start over with the question. I hate talking about myself, um, but.